Stampers, it's Eleanor McGarry, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Canada, and in this video we are going to make a card, several cards, using the Crane of Fortune stamp set and the accompanying dies. Now when I get my stamp set and die bundle, I usually just take the dies and get rid of the uh, white sheet that it's stuck to and then put them on magnetic sheets like this. And then I just pop everything together in a case, in the case like that. And that way I use less space in my craft storage. So we will be using this stamp set as well as the matching dies. And we are also going to be using, I'll show you, it's in the mini catalog here, the January to June mini catalog. This is it here, lots of lovely samples. We're also going to be using um, the designer series paper here. I'll show you some samples of cards that I've made with that. But I'm going to show you the paper. Here it is here. So it is six sheets, double-sided for a total of 12 designs. So one side, of course, you have the soothing colors of Calypso Coral, Crumb Cake, and Soft Succulent. And of course, when you turn it around, you get the lovely gray and white tones with a pop of gold foil. So lots of different elegant cards you can make with this set. I will show you a few samples. For the first card I'm gonna show you, we are going to be using just a plain white card base and then Coastal Cabana measuring three and three quarters by five. Let's take our craft sheet sorry, our grid paper to protect our surface. And we are going to be using the double chrysanthemum stamp from the set. We are going to be stamping that on the Coastal Cabana using Whisper White Craft Ink. As you know, Craft Ink is opaque, so it will stamp perfectly on colored paper and you'll still see the image. Now we're going to glue our stamped image here onto our white cardstock. Now when you stamp with craft ink, it's gonna take some time to dry. This is the one we just stamped now, not dry yet, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I stamped this last night, and we're going to go ahead and glue that onto our white base like that. The next thing I did was using the die, I stamped um, the double chrysanthemum first in polished pink and then cut it out using the die to create um, this and you're going to need two of those. And then using Granny Apple Green, I stamped the stem, little stem and leaves again using the die cut out three of them. So those are the elements that you're going to need for your card. For a greeting, I needed something small because as you'll see when I show you the card, I just have a small space for the greeting. So I chose the hello greeting from the free as a bird stamp set. And what I do when I make these little greetings, I'll stamp it uh, uh, using white pigment ink on black cardstock. And then I'll put embossing powder over it and heat set it. And usually if I'm going to do that, I'll take um, the stamp set that I'm currently working on and just stamp a whole bunch. And then it's ready to go next time I need something that I want that has white lettering on black. It's just since I've gotten my heat gun out and all the supplies, I just do a whole bunch. And then I'm ready for the next time I need something similar. So now we've got everything here, let's put our card together.
on to the second card. Um, I'll show you all the cards again at the very end, but I'm going to demo a little bit of each card so that you can see how I made them. So this one here uses the Elegant Crane that I stamped in gray granite. And then I cut out using the die. And then I use a gray granite base as well as a little strip here. That's gray granite, of course, just a bit of black. And the way I did this, you can see a design. I use the, um, the butterflies and flowers layering masks. Um, this again was one of the new masks that came out in the mini catalog. And you get all these different masks. I chose to use um, this one here as my mask. That's what I chose and I am going to show you how that's done. Did it on Calypso Coral and you are going to use of course Calypso Coral ink as well. So let's grab our Calypso Coral ink and then what I like to do is have a piece of scrap paper there and then you're going to go ahead and layer your mask. Now this piece of paper cardstock here is a different size of obviously than what the card that we made. I just want to show you the process and how to create that using a mask. So um, I like to use the scotch repositional tape because it'll keep your work in the same spot and you don't have to worry about it moving around. So you want to space that so that you're happy with where let's do this. No, let's do that. Just play around with how you want that to look on your card. Just trying to figure out where I would like it to go. So, and then once you're good with that, go ahead and cut enough tape, repositional tape to go along the perimeter of your work so that it's nice and secure. Let's do that. And then once that's done, now we can now we can go ahead and apply our Calypso Coral ink. And there you have your piece of Calypso Coral with the image of the stencil on there. So that's how I did this border piece here. And the stamps that I use were the Elegant Crane. Of course, my greeting was much luck and good fortune stamped in black. And the crane was stamped in gray granite. So that's our second card. The next card I'm going to show you is this one. It's black and soft succulents and I've used the designer series paper for the center. But first I'm going to show you how I did this first layer here with a little bit of stamping and then embossed through the stamp and cut and emboss. Okay, so we're going to emboss again the dual chrysanthemum on soft succulent cardstock using the same ink so it's a monochromatic look soft succulent on soft succulent can't go wrong with monochromatic and you're going to go ahead and stamp your chrysanthemum just strategically where you want so this part of the card is a personal choice you can stamp it where you want to stamp it I do a little bit on the top left hand side a bit on the bottom and then I'll do one more here, just so that there's coverage. And again, the rule of threes, you like to stamp in threes. So that's what it looks like. And then we're going to go ahead and run this through our Big Shot. Now we're going to run it through our stamp and cut and emboss machine using the Tasteful Textiles folder. 
So let's go ahead and put the cardstock inside the folder like so. I'm just gonna bring the camera a little bit higher here. Okay. And we are going to use the plate one and then plate four, which is strictly for embossing with folders. Let's go ahead and run that through our Big Shot or the Stampin' Cut and Emboss. I still call it Big Shot. I just can't seem to get that name out of my head. But as you know, Stampin' Cut uh, and, and Emboss is what Stampin' Up! calls their machine. And this is what you get. So I love that how pretty that comes out. And that's our first layer. To finish the card, you are going to need um, the designer series paper. This again is double sided. I'm going to use this because I want the image of the crane there. You see how that's what it is. Let's bring the camera down a little bit. And you are going to need the layering circles dies for this. So it's these two that um, the circle for the image and then the little scallop circle for the outer edge. You can see here the little scallop and you just choose which part of the de designer series paper you want to feature and I wanted the crane with a little bit of the moon so that's how you do that and this of course is just this element here which is part of the dies so cut that out in black and just put your card together like this this again is a greeting from the stamp set as well wishing you a lifetime of happiness in a world of love. And then this, to finish it off, are the gilded gems from the main catalog. So that is your finished card. So the last card I'm gonna demo is uh, this one here. It opens up like this, and it uses the designer series paper on this side. And I'm gonna show you quickly just how to cut the base of this card. So the base of the card is a regular piece of white cardstock and it starts off eight and a half long by four and a quarter. And then you of course fold that in half. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is cut from this corner to that corner using your um, paper trimmer. And you can easily see and align the corners to the cutting groove here to make sure you're cutting where you want the cut to be. And remember, to cut, you want to use the darker blade. This is a scoring blade, this is a cutting blade. So let's go ahead and cut. And that is basically how you get this beginning part of the card. And then you're gonna cut, I cut a designer series paper the same size as this little flap. Again, this is from the DSP that matches the Grain of Fortune cardstock and I that's the other side this is the side that I wanted to use and you notice how mine has got a bit of fresh freesia I just sponged that on with the Stampin' Blends because I wanted it to match the uh, double chrysanthemum stamp that I stamped here which I did in gorgeous grape so I thought that it looked nice you can leave it white as well I don't know if you can kind of imagine what that would look like so it would work with just white and then this here is part of the Good Fortune dies. It is um, this tiny little die here, and I cut that twice to get those. So that's the last card that I'm gonna demo, but I do have another card that I will show you as well. I'm gonna now bring in all the cards and show you all of them again. Okay, so here are all the cards that I showed you. This is the first one that we did. And this is the second one with the stencil and the Calypso Coral ink. And then we did this one where we stamped on the soft succulents and ran it through our Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. And the last one that I showed you was this one that opens up with the designer series paper, sponge with fresh freesia ink. 
And then I did this one, which I didn't demo, but it's fairly straightforward. So all it is, it's a very simple card. You stamped a double chrysanthemum in different colors. I use Evening Evergreen, and I did a little bit of um, Pear Pizzazz here. And the uh, Dragonflies I did in Evening Evergreen. And then I don't know if you can tell it's a bit shimmery because I added a little bit of Wink of Stella on top of that. And then just some ribbon and three basic pearls in there. This greeting here is from, let me grab the stamp set. It's from the Heartfelt Wishes stamp set, which I find very, very useful. It basically covers um, many different uh, greeting card uses. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, much gratitude, sending love and cheers. So a really wonderful stamp set. So there are all your cards using the Crane of Fortune stamp set. I hope you got some good ideas that you could use in your card making. I thank you for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to my blog, please do so. Subscribe button is in the bottom right hand side. And if you're in Canada and would like some help with your card making or do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet, please contact me. My The link to my blog with my email and all that information is in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy stamping!